I'd like to start off with a quote from Helen Keller that to me just resonates when I was looking and doing some research on Gail Hamilton. And I'm sure it's a quote that, that you've heard so many times. The only thing worse than being blind is having sight, but no vision. As a person who is totally blind, Gail Hamilton knows all about light and dark. Fear gets in the way for us to experience life to the fullest, but not for Gail. As an accomplished author and speaker, Gail Hamilton's story of faith, attitude, and action has inspired thousands of people. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare to be regaled and give a warm welcome for Gail Hamilton. <laughs> You are dead center. There you go. There I go. Have fun. <laughs> Climb every mountain, forge every stream, follow every rainbow till you find your dream. What is your dream? Is it to be a public speaker, a best-selling author, maybe a world traveler? Whatever your dream, passion, desire, I'm here to say that you can have it. No matter how high your mountain or how long it takes you to climb it, you can live your dreams and soar into your greatness. Have you ever been told you couldn't do something due to your height, weight, level of education, language you spoke, age, or disability, or any other supposed limitations? <laughs> These kinds of mountains are hard to climb. I know it has taken me decades to climb my mountain, to reach the top, and to spread my wings and fly. I was born in Indianapolis, Indiana to upper middle class parents. I was two and a half months premature. I weighed two pounds. My waist was this big. They could fit me and my twin brother together in dad's shoebox. Six months after my birth, when my parents found out I was blind due to retinopathy of prematurity, they were devastated. They did not know how to parent a child with a disability. So they ignored, isolated, discounted, devalued, abandoned, and abused me emotionally and physically. However, Grandma, Grandma Nora, with her sixth grade education, she knew how to love and hold me. She knew how to connect and touch me nice. And Grandma, she made the best Cinnabons. <laughs> you know the ones in the mall? Mm-mm-mm. Grandmas were better. <laughs> and Grandma, she told me the five words that would help me move up my mountain. She said, Gail, I'll love you forever. Grandma, she helped move me towards my passion of making music. Who have you had in your life to nurture, guide, and empower you on your journey? Let them know they made a difference. Years later, I received a master's degree in psychology and counseling, and I starred in two operas. Then I went for a competition in singing on a national level. And the judge said, she wrote on my critique sheet, how do you expect to have a career in singing when you're blind? Really? Really? Had 
she heard of Ray Charles or Tom Sullivan or Jose Feliciano or, I don't know, Andre Pacelli? Really. However, at that time, I believed her words to be true. Likewise, I went for a doctorate in music, and the faculty there said, we can't teach you, and I believe them. Then I went for a psych degree in psychology and counseling, a master's, and the head of the department said, what makes you think you can be a psychotherapist? You're blind, as if I didn't know. <laughs> However, I believed her too. Hmm. For about 24 hours. Then I gathered my forces, found my voice, confronted her, and received my degree. Have you ever had anybody try to shatter your dream? Don't let them. My mountain path became almost insurmountable over the next few years. I bought and sold houses, began and ended a long-term relationship, became depressed, suicidal several times. Oh, had numerous surgeries and mom died. Determined, I kept climbing my mountain, turning the dark into the light. I learned that my truth is real, that my experiences are valid, and my feelings genuine, that my desire to fly has to be bigger than my fear of falling. Vision is internal, not external, and is guided by your heart, not your eyes. In order to be free to fly, you must want your dream, feel your dream, and believe that your dream will come true. Most importantly, you must live your dream. I am standing here today because of my friends and colleagues. Because of that, I am dancing on the summit of my Mount Everest. I have been honored and blessed to have been selected to have helped build my former Habitat for Humanity house. I had a blast hammering studs and shingles. <laughs> However, I don't know how come they wouldn't let me install the little electrical wires. <laughs> Something about red or blue? <laughs> <laughs> and I've been privileged to have been crowned Miss Colorado Senior America. So I know dreams come true. What about you? What are you choosing to do with your life? Are you going to go for the gold or stand still? Are you going to climb your Mount Everest or not? Are you allowing your challenges to be your weight or give you your wings. As long as you have breath in your body, you are alive, and you have choice on how you choose to live it. You have the power to change how you see, and you have the power to change how you live. You have the power to be unstoppable, unforgettable, and unbelievable. I challenge you today to take charge take action, and to climb every mountain for